everyone, welcome back to Black and Small Buys for Brooklyn Dunn, where I do reviews on products that I get from black owned and small businesses. So today's review is based off of a business called Skin Night In. The owner's name is Shania McPherson, aka Nia. Shout out to her. Um, Nia and I actually went to high school together. So when I found out that she had a small business, I really wanted to support, and I've been supporting for the past few years. Skin I'm In is a all natural skincare line where she makes body butters, soaps, bath soaks, bath scrubs, um, bath bombs, chapsticks, lip balms. Um, the list goes on. She also makes beard oil for men, which I actually need to buy some for my man. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so I've made posts like on Facebook and little TikTok videos here and there on her products in the past. And so when I decided to do a YouTube video, I wanted to do it on something new. Now, the things that I bought was the powder mask and the powder mask has turmeric powder, bentonite clay and activated charcoal. I bought the rose water face toner, which has rose hydrosol, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, witch hazel, aloe vera, vegetable glycerin, and vitamin C. The finisher, which I've used before, but I haven't bought it in a while, but the finisher has rose oil, dried roses, dried um, calendula, um, hemp seed oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, vitamin E, peppermint essential oil. Um, and I also, oh, I bought the turmeric exfoliation bar, so I can't forget that. It's just that I've been using it, so it's currently in my shower, so I can't show it in the video. I also decided to buy some tea because she's just now starting to um, get into this. So for the tea, I got the Serene Desire, which has chamomile, lavender, and lemon balm. Um, and she also threw in a sample of her Game Changer Immunity, which has... Mullen, orange peel, cinnamon, ginger root, peppermint, um, echinacea, and elderberries. So the reason I bought these products is because of the winter. My skin is naturally dry and I've been like natural for the past 10 years, but I recently decided to lock my hair. I always wore my hair in a fro. And so because I wore my hair in a fro and I always use shea butter and oils, I had to treat my face as if it was oily. But because I no longer have my fro and I have my hair in locks, my hair isn't touching my face as much anymore. And because it's winter time, my skin has been extremely dry to the point where it's been extremely flaky. So I'm going to show you all the video that I actually sent Nia of my face. Like, you know, it's pretty much extremely flaky. Like as I'm rubbing across it, um, you know, the skin is just removing itself. And I'm like, what is this? Like my face has never done that before. So I think that's the main reason why I was kind of freaking out about it. And in the video, I'm actually going to show you one morning where I woke up and it's just nothing but like flakiness all around my mouth. And I was mainly experiencing it like around here. So the fact that I woke up and it was just extremely dry, I'm like, what is this? So um, I'm going to show what my face looked like before I started using the products. And then I'm going to show, like, give you all a close up of what it looks like now. I mainly use the turmeric. Um, I keep looking over here because I think it's here, but it's not. The turmeric bar is in my shower. The um, turmeric bar, I use it in the morning and I um, follow up with the finisher for the powder mask. Um, I'll use it like every other day. And I like to do it at night though. So I'll do it at night and I'll let it dry while I'm reading a book or just scrolling on my phone and relaxing or like watching a video on Netflix and then I'll rinse it off. So I'll show myself um, using both of the products here. Okay, so it's in the morning and I just woke up. I want y'all to see this. Like, how dry and flaky my face has been. Right now, it's like really just towards my mouth. When I really started noticing it, it will end up like around in this area. 
but this is just an example of like what's been going on and I don't know if it's like my diet or if it's just the weather because I do have naturally dry skin I mean it's winter time you know in Illinois right now it's been snowing so I mean it could be that but I don't really be outside like that so I don't know but it's just like it's frustrating because I've never seen my skin like this before so I'm going to exfoliate and I've been using the skin I'm in um, turmeric exfoliating bar as you can see here I believe these are coffee grinds so and I'm going to use this little tool right here to also exfoliate as well I'm just gonna tie my hair around this up as well okay at least it's not in my face all right so let me go ahead and do this Okay, so I washed twice with the soap, and as you can see here, it skin is being lifted. So I'm going to wash again until I'm not seeing the skin on my face lifting. Okay, so I just got done washing for a third time, and I'm not seeing any more um, skin lifting off of my face right now like typically while i'm washing with it my skin does feel tingly while it's on my face and now that my face is dry after i've rinsed it off it feels like it's tightening so i'm going to go ahead and use the finisher i only use a couple of drops so i pretty much use what's already in there if you can see that there and just Triple a little bit, a little bit of that on my face. I, I add a little bit more. It feels good. I like the way this feels. Oh, and it smells good too. Okay, so now I'm about to use the powder mask. And with the powder mask, I'll be combining the rose water with it. So for the instructions, and I'm actually recycling a jar. Um, Nia um, offers, or sells, sorry, um, a body butter. And so I've kept the little jar for the body butter. I have no idea what I did with the top, but that's besides the point so this comes in handy for this powder mask so what I'm going to do is add a little bit of the yes a little bit in here a little bit of the rose water along with a little of the powder mask so I've already poured that in and I'm just going to use my, well, you know, what? before I use my finger to mix that up, <laughs> let me go ahead and put my pre prebubescent locks <laughs> back. Okay. So now I'm just going to use my finger to mix it up and it's got Kind of a thick consistency as you can see this here so it's a little clumped together i'm just going to add a little bit more water and i'm just mixing that together i did wash my hands before doing this so now i'm just going to go ahead and put that on my face that's just spreading. Okay. 
on the website, it shows I think you're supposed to use like a teaspoon of the rose water and then I believe a teaspoon of the powder mask. And if I am incorrect, I'm actually going to list it here. But, um, you know, I feel like measurements are somewhat of a suggestion for me. <laughs> um, so I eyeball it. And I feel like I eyeballed it correctly with the way that this is spreading. So let me just started to feel a little bit dry on my finger. So just reaching into the container, you know, I got to cover my bell pepper right here. So as you can see above my lip here, it was more so wet than thick. So I'm just going to spread a little bit more over. You want to make sure you get into the crevices of your nose. still have enough left to spread to the rest of my forehead. Okay, so my face is completely covered. I'm actually about to read a book and I'm going to drink some tea at the same time while I'm at it just to relax and I'll see y'all when I come back and rinse all this off. Okay, so I just rinsed off the face mask and I just used my hands in water. I, because it's charcoal, I don't want to stain my towel. Um, so with this mask, my face feels tight, like it, and it feels tight all over my forehead and you know, in this area. Um, not like a bad feeling, but it does feel tight. And so just to make sure my face is still moisturized, I'm going to use the finisher. Drop that around my face and just rub it in. Oops. Oh, a part of the flower came out. Oh, this feels amazing. Okay, so by adding this, my face, like, it doesn't have that tight hold on it from the mask. Okay, so those are the face products. Um, now let's get into this tea. I got the Serene Desire and the Game Changer, and I'll start off with the Game Changer. I love the Game Changer. Like, I love the flavor of it. I feel like for me, Sunday afternoon while I'm studying, um, because I'm currently getting a professional certificate in um, social media marketing, so I'll definitely drink this while I'm studying Sunday afternoon. Like, that's the vibe for me. I love the flavor of this. For the Serene Desire, I'm not that big of a fan of it. And I tried it multiple times. Like I tried it hot, I tried it cold, and it's not exactly doing it for me. Although I have seen a lot of good reviews on it. Um, so I don't want this to necessarily sway your opinion for that. I'm still getting into tea. However, I have been using it for my smoothies. So typically when I do like a, a fruit smoothie um, and I'm cutting up my pieces of fruit and I'm throwing it in. I don't want to add water just so it has um, that I don't break my blender trying to um, blend what I have in there. I always want to add in some type of liquid and I feel like water is just too bland. So I'll add in like some tea. So that's what I have been using it for. I did see some good reviews on this tea, which is the reason why I bought it, but um, it's not for me. And that's okay because the game changer definitely is. So definitely try out both of them just to get your own opinion on it. But I do highly recommend the Game Changer. 
Okay, so that was my review on the Skin I'm In products. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Definitely check out her website and her information is all in the description box below. Um, I'll see you all next time. Bye.